G'day everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Lockdown Under series. If you've just joined us, uh, we are on the adventure of a lifetime. Land Cruiser, 14 foot caravan doing a full lap of Australia. Now look, if you have joined us, make sure you uh, hit that subscribe button to follow along on our journeys and you can jump back and check out episode one if you've missed it. Where are we? We are at Bells Beach. As you can see be uh, behind me, sorry, we have the surf reserve. If it was a little bit bigger, we'd brave the wetsuits and jump in for a paddle. So what a place to start. We are tackling the Great Ocean Road. Can't wait to check it out. We've never done it before, so we are so excited. Let's get into it. All right, well, here we go. I can't believe it. I'm actually going to do the Great Ocean Road. I have been down here uh, wait, wait, wait. a couple of times, just trying to get photos of the sign. Been down here a couple of times and we haven't had a chance to actually do the Great Ocean Road. I've always gone past it or I've had to go the fast way because we've been out of time. So to say I'm excited is an understatement. You can, Jess? So excited. Um, I feel like our trip's just starting right now. Yeah. I really do. Um, we've been working in Melbourne uh, and Sydney, so we haven't actually got to really enjoy the trip yet, but I feel like this is the start. What about you, mate? You I'm done stoked. I can't stoked. wait. You haven't, done, you haven't done it yet? Never done Great Ocean Road, so I'm looking forward to it. Should be good. So with a bit of luck, we can find a beach and actually have a bit of a surf as well. We're on a little bit of a deadline as per usual, um, so we're gonna haul as quick as we can, but Great Ocean Road, let's go. Right, so we've just pulled up at the infamous Bells Beach. We're going down for a look. Uh, there's a few boys out. They're all in steamers. It must be a little bit fresh. <laughs> it's not much of a wave here, but um, very, very cool piece of coastline. What do you reckon? Oh, it's beautiful. So stop one, done and dusted Bells Beach. Uh, what a way to start it. Yeah, loved it. The headlands were beautiful, the surf was awesome, and just the general vibe. So we're gonna tag along for this episode. Hey. My mate Justin, it's Jess's cousin actually, so he's gonna uh, be doing the Great Ocean Road with us. Can't Pump wait. mate, excited? Can't wait, it's gonna be so good. Let's go see what else we can find. I don't know where the next stop is, but- uh, uh, The big archway. The Memorial oh, Archway. The sign. The stop. The Great Ocean Road sign. <laughs> We're gonna stop, we're gonna do all the Instagram-y dribble. Yeah. I'll probably have to take 900 photos of Jess. <laughs> let's see She'll if, take them herself. Yeah, so oh, let's, let's see if we can find it. So we've just come out of lawn. Oh my god. I mean we I think we've picked a stellar day, but it is Mill Pond out here. Um it's incredible, what a drive. What's Mill Pond mean? Mill Pond. Flat. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it looks like that's a wrap on day one. We've just pulled up this beautiful little caravan park, uh, Skeen Creek Caravan Park. It is uh, just out of town, but beautiful little spot. The beach is right there. The beers are cold. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Uh, it was alright. Yeah. Didn't really test out the amenities at all, so. Look, 
it was it was ridiculously expensive for what it was, but I'm still going rate of six. I have beautiful green grass. Yeah. And the beach is right there. We're probably yeah. getting a little bit fussy, but if you're looking for a good little overnighter along the Great Ocean Road, and uh, you don't want to pay whatever they probably charge you at the Big Four, no idea. It's still fifty dollars a night at Skins Creek Caravan Park, though. Forty forty six for power. Yeah. Anyway, today we're gonna we're gonna keep going along the Great Ocean Road, see what we can find. With a bit of luck, we'll, we'll head up towards Mount Gambia. There may be a suspended bridge. We're gonna see if we can find. Mm. See how we go. What's the other sinkhole you want to go? Uh, I really want to go to Ewan's Ponds. Ewan's Ponds. So we're gonna maybe try and have a look at that. Uh, see if we can't get into Mount long. Gambia. We'll see how we go. It's gonna be a big day. We got up early, so we can attack it. Daylight saving sucks. The sun doesn't come up till like midday so yeah, it's ridiculous let's find a coffee oh let's get a coffee here we go we look like we're going to the snow that's where we are we've just pulled up into the car park the 12 apostle car park um it has been pouring rain there's just been a little bit of a break in the in the rain so we've got all the raincoats on but um we're gonna walk down now check out the uh 12 oh, apostles awesome. let's go down have a look see what we can find Woo. Oh, holy God. shit Alright guys, so in the background is the 12 Apostles, or 5 maybe now. I think there's a few that have maybe fallen over. Um, now look, because you're not allowed to put the drone up here, obviously you will have seen photos and bits and pieces, but we can't really do them justice with the GoPro from this far away. So whatever you do, get your ass down here, come check it out. It is far better in person and it's not going to be here forever. No. And it's absolutely spectacular, guys. Little fun fact, it is actually one of the seven natural wonders of the world. So we're incredibly lucky in Australia to have these here. Honestly, it's left me speechless. It's we absolutely got, You beautiful. can see um, not only the 12 apostles, just the cliff face here is absolutely incredible. Um, turtles swimming down in the water. It's such a dramatic coastline. Yeah. It's epic. Magic, come check it out. What we have here is a photographer. And your standard tourist. <laughs> We're heading back to the car now. Pour down on us. You could do the far one, which was Gibson's. Steps, yeah. Um, if you were to just walk flat out and come back, like 10 minutes. Oh. Even five yeah. minutes, you could do it. So. Um, I just thought I'd mention that in case you don't like walking or you're a little bit older and you're watching our content, who knows? It's definitely not an hour. Make sure you yeah. go down and check out the Gibson. It was incredible. And uh, they also have wheelchair access the entire route, except for the last part, which is the Gibson stairs. But realistically, you don't even need to go to the Gibson stairs. That was just an additional little hike. Um, but honestly, time. do it. Let's go get Breggy. What has happened here? <laughs> what have you done? Matthew Baker drove an hour past my treetop challenge. Challenge? Yeah, so it was like a Suspen treetop suspended, suspended bridge, bridge thing. So we were hoping to go and check that out and show you guys, but uh, would you say it was my fault or would you say it's the navigator's fault? Let us know in the comments. Pretty sure I stop when I'm told to stop. I'm just driving, so you're supposed to be steering the ship. Because you're a grumpy bum until you get a coffee. I still haven't had a bloody coffee. <laughs> oh, well, looks like we're not going to be able to do that um, rope bridge, suspended bridge for you, but Bugger. we will find something else cool to do. It means we've got more time at the swimming holes. Yes, that's true. update we finished the great ocean road right now we're on our way to uh we're heading to ewan ponds actually so it's a series of three ponds it's one way direction you jump in at pond one uh swim through to uh, pond three they say the water temperature is around 14 degrees with visibility up to 80 meters insane, insane. Um, it is a reserve you do have to pay uh, for the three of us it was 49 dollars to 
go uh, and you do have a specific time slot so we're there for one hour only. We're running late as per usual so we're going to be there from five to six so hopefully there's enough light. Should be fine. Let's go find out. Woo. We're rigging up, we got the masks, we got the fins. Look at these beauties. It is not very warm, uh, not really what I expected. There is nobody here. We rushed to make sure we had the right time slots. Could have come whenever we want to be honest, but we're doing the right thing. Here's a quick little look. Oh my goodness, it looks sick. We've got limited sunlight left, so we're going hard to get in there because I think uh, a little bit of sun will make it better. So we're going to rig straight up and we're going in. Pretty excited. Should be fun. Yeah. I can't feel my toes. <laughs> what an absolute experience. Oh, magic. It was like an underwater fairy garden. Absolutely epic. Well, I'll tell you what, let's get the bloody hell out of here. Everybody wants that cinematic look. Insane afternoon. I'm oh. kind of glad we did rush a little bit to get there. Out of 10, what do you give us? Out of 10? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely mind blown. The sun is literally dropping down there. We're driving through these beautiful um, properties at the moment. There's cows, there's horses, there's sheep. Um, alpacas. Alpacas. Where are we headed? Look, we're staying at Big Four. Um, they are on Blue Lake, so we're super keen to get up uh, in the morning for a sunrise over Blue Lake. Blue Lake, another swimming hole in the morning, and we've got another epic one for the afternoon. It's going to be speed. wild. I'll tell you what, it just does not get any better than this. It doesn't matter how many little weekend trips you do. There's something about the touring, the longer trips. At the moment we're driving along, we've got the sun setting in the background. We've got the biggest full moon you've ever seen. Look at the size of that thing. Um, the sky's pink. It is just epic. Um, and look, it's been a while since I've done a decent sized touring trip with all the COVID dribble and remember why I love it. This is living. Get out there. Get out uh, somewhere a little bit remote, out in the countryside. When the sun drops, the whole entire sky lights up. It's beautiful.
Good morning from Blue Lake. Uh, we are getting ready to pack up. We're heading to Killsby Sinkhole today, which is super exciting. Drying our wetsuits from yesterday. Cannot wait for today's free diving. Um, now we are actually going to be doing some full driving over the next couple of days. We're going from Beachport to Rove. So Maddie's just filling up the water tanks, making sure we've got enough water. Just uh, putting the bags up. A little bit unlevel last night. I tell you what, if you don't have a set of airbags on your caravan, you're crazy. It's so easy, so much better. Tanks, uh, I'm filling a little bit up. I don't want to be too heavy, so I'm going to try and stay as light as I can. So I've just put, um, I'm sort of spreading the load evenly. I got a quarter in the two front tanks and then half in the back. So I do have three tanks in this van. Uh, cool thing is that allows me to play with weight. I don't want to be fully loaded. We're going on, we're going on the beach. What, what might be the softest beach in South Australia? I put a poll up. I'm like, can we take the van on, um, on the beach? 50% of the locals said hell no. 50% said yes, you'll be fine. Blokes have told me they've done it in 17 foot vans, towed boats, done all these sorts of things. So um, we're going to give it a crack. I wasn't going to. I was going to drop it off and just take the car, but we got another another traveller who's going to join us. So we'll, we'll find out later on. I'll let you know who they are. But um, they're going to come down and meet up with us. That way we've at least got a recovery vehicle. So we're going to pop this down this morning um, and we're going to pack away the rooftop tent. And then what do you reckon? We're out of here. Yeah, let's bring on uh, Killsby Sinkhole. Blue Lake and then all oh, Killsby Sinkhole's going to be sick. <laughs> Blue Lake, what an absolutely magical place. Video does not do this justice. You'll have to get your ass here and have a look for yourself. Um, as the sun goes higher, this is gonna get even better. History with Jess time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, as Matt mentioned, we are at Blue Lake. So this bad boy actually provides the water supply for the Mount Gambier Township in 1884. That is when we first started pumping water. Uh, it was shaft driven. Then in 1922, we upgraded to a centrifugal um, system. Oh. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> and in 1972, we upgraded to a fully automated system. Uh, providing the Mount Gambia Township with the purest water possible. It's absolutely insane. What's cool is because this was volcanic, uh, there's actually tunnels that flow out of here and go underneath all of the town. Yeah. And uh, we need to do a bit more research, but apparently people scuba it. And Only very experienced cave divers. So you do actually have to be certified as a cave diver. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> but absolutely epic. Fun. Only you're allowed to put a tinny in and go for a look, but somehow I don't think we're allowed to do that. <laughs> very cool. All right, so we had just a little bit of time to kill before we go to the uh, something or other. I'm terrible with names. Killsby uh, sink, sinkhole. Yeah. Before we go in there, we, we've stopped at another little sinkhole. This one is literally just um, outside of the town of Mount Gambia. It's called The Gardens. Now, this was someone's backyard back in the day. I don't know the dates. And basically this sinkhole was formed in their backyard and they planted this absolutely epic garden. And over the last... 40 odd years, it's grown into what it is now. Come have a look, it's pretty wild. We're just about to get out of here. This place is absolutely epic. If you are coming through, do, do yourself a favor, make sure you come and stop, especially if you like gardens and flowers and bits and pieces.
Welcome to the Killsby Sinkhole. We made it. Uh, so you've just come down that little set of stairs and it is so blue. The, the edges are like this aqua green. It is absolutely gorgeous. We're about to chuck our fins on. Let's get in there. Yeah, that's a wrap on the Killsby sinkhole. What an epic little spot. I wish I had this thing in my backyard. I uh, tell you what, if you are cruising through here, make sure you jump in, say good day to the team here. You can snorkel. If you want to do specific free diving though, where you dive uh, down on the rope, you got to do it with the instructor. Um, we're going to come back. Adam Sellers, uh, Sellers does it. Unfortunately, we missed him by a couple of days, but uh, if you do want to do it for free diving, make sure you plan in advance, which is something we never do. From here, we're going to get in the truck. We're punching out to the coastline. We're about to go meet up with a couple of mates and see if we can't get onto the beach. Let's go. Right, so we've just pulled up to a beautiful little town. I tell you what, South Australia is absolutely turning it on. Two dives in two days. We are on an absolute high. So how about this little town? Oh, amazing. We've pulled up here. Uh, we're at Beachport at the moment, as you can see behind me. Epic jetty. Uh, but I believe we're actually finishing this episode up here. Unfortunately, this is going to wrap this one up. We've just met up with these boys over here, the Wild Bondi. Is that how we say it? Wild Bondi? Wild, Wild, Wild Bond. Bond. <laughs> I was close. I was close. My English is terrible. So uh, from here, we are going to hit the dunes. We're going to hit the lakes. It should be a bit of fun. With a bit of luck, we can catch a feed and do a bit of a, a cook up. But that'll be on the next episode. That's the next episode. So if you have enjoyed this, make sure you like, subscribe, jump online, check out the latest merch. The girls' hoodies are up. Uh, the jumpers are up. And I'm going to go put one on right now. Till next time, guys, make sure you get out and enjoy the Explore Life.